Those years at IU were uh, spectacular. They were spectacular. Uh, back then, you had to win the NCAA champ. You had to win the uh, Big Ten championship to get into the NCAA tournament. And we won. A, we won uh, my junior senior year. Freshman couldn't play then. My junior senior year, we won the Big Ten championship. Of course, in 1953, we won the national championship. We beat Kansas in the final game. And the next year, we had everybody back. We were rated number one in the country, and Notre Dame upset us in the NCAA regional. The amazing thing, the guy that fouled me, the guy that fouled me at the end of that ball game, later became a well-known college coach at North Carolina by the name of Dean Smith. Yeah, Dean Smith fouled me on the drive. Really, I almost made the layup, but to, see, they don't know the whole story. I got two free throws. I went to Choke City on the first one, but I made the next one. And that's the one that counted because we win it by one point, 69-68. If you look at championship teams, and I don't care if it's in football, basketball, or what, uh, they're very close-knit. And I've often said, once that you walk down the tunnel in a seventh game or for a national championship like we had at IU, you're friends for life. You're friends for life. It's a family affair. It's a team game. And uh, that, that's the way that ball club was. And to this day, to this day, of course, we've, we've had a couple, few players pass away. But to this day, every couple weeks or so, we have lunch. We have lunch together. Bob Nedelecki, Billy Keller, George McGinnis, Darnell Hillman, Don Boosie. The guys that are still, we still get together after all these years.